How many games are there in a casino? Which ones are most popular? Do you actually have more chances to win if using one game rather than another? And in this case, which games can make you win more money? And is there a game where you can actually have an edge over the house? Well, if you've ever wondered this, look no further. Because in today's video, we are going to answer these questions. Watch until the end, because we're going to reveal the mysterious game that can actually give the players an edge and make them always win. And where's the catch? Because there obviously is one. Welcome to Ninja Gamblers, the number one source for quality casino content on the internet. Here you can find info, tutorials and strategies about roulette, blackjack, poker, slots and more. Explained and brought to you by the Ninjas, a group of expert gamblers. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Before moving on, I want to quickly say a little note. When playing online, it's very important to play in safe and certified online casinos, as playing in unsafe ones could mean sending your money to some dodgy companies in an uncontrolled tax haven far away, which could literally disappear overnight with all your money. It has happened, and can happen again. Plus, they could fix the games, making you lose on purpose, as no one can control their algorithms. To avoid all this, it's important to play in casinos that are licensed, certified by reputable international gambling agencies. Many countries have specific additional regulations set by the local government, so in case you live in one of these countries, it's sometimes even illegal to play in casinos that don't have the local certification. In the link in the description of this video, you can find an always updated list of certified online casinos in the world and in your country. We personally checked that they all have the required local and international licenses, together with a good reputation. On the website in the link you can also compare the best bonuses they offer, as some of them offer free spins and free money to new players. With that said, let's go with today's topic. So let's start with having a look at what are the most popular casino games, and then we will see if you actually have more chances to win with one or another. Roulette this is one of the most popular casino games in the world, with its famous wheel being one of the most iconic symbols of casinos. The rules of the games are very straightforward. Players bet on which one of the 37 numbers on a spinning wheel the ball will land on when it comes to a stop. That's it, pure prediction. Now, while the basic rule of the game is very simple, the bet types at roulette are actually quite complex, as you can bet either on a single number, a combination of numbers, or a specific outside bet like red or black, odd or even, and some complex bet types like the French bets. Bets and payments are usually created using statistics, so this made gamblers generate lots of strategies based on statistics to try and beat the roulette, such as the Martingale strategy or the Paroli or Fibonacci systems. In this channel, we will focus especially on roulette. Therefore, we will analyze it in much more detail in future videos, where we will analyze and try the various different strategies. If you don't want to miss out on this content, make sure you subscribe. Blackjack This is probably the most popular casino game on earth. It's the one most played by gamblers and the most well known by the general public, especially because it's been shown in a lot of Hollywood films, like 21, The Hangover, Rain Man and even a James Bond film. It's often described as one of the fairest casino games, as the skills and the choices of the player in the game play a much more crucial role than in most other games. It's played with one or multiple decks of cards, and each player is individually against the dealer. Both the player and the dealer get two cards, and in each round they can choose whether to stay with the cards or have to hit and get another random card. To win, the player must have a sum of cards higher than the dealers, possibly 21 but not higher than 21. If the total amount of the player or the dealer's cards reaches any number over 21, it's game over and the other wins. So this makes it very interesting from a player's perspective, because a skilled gambler can know certain statistical schemes, such as a basic strategy, that can give a little bit more edge to understand if it's better to hit and get another card, or stay. Now blackjack is very popular because of a specific strategy, card counting. Card counting is very complex, but basically it's a technique used to determine whether the player or the dealer has the advantage on the next hand, and if done properly, it can give a significant advantage to the player. 
In fact, it gives such an advantage to the player that it has been banned in many physical casinos, and online casinos use multiple decks and reshuffling to keep the card counters at bay. Blackjack is another game we will spend a lot of time analysing in this channel. Slots Slot machines are not a table game like the ones we've seen before, but they are a machine, hence why their name. The machine creates a game of chance for the player, featuring a screen displaying three or more reels that spin when a game is activated. Each machine has a unique table that lists the amount of money or multipliers that the player will receive if the symbols listed on the pay table line up on the pay line of the machine. Some symbols are wild and can represent many or all of the other symbols to complete the winning line. In a nutshell, it's the simplest casino game ever. All the player needs to do is click on the spin button and hope for the best. This obviously creates very limited possibilities to have advanced strategies, so slot players focus more on the slot choice rather than the strategy itself. In fact, there are thousands and thousands of slots out there, especially the online ones. Each one has different payouts, different symbols, different winning possibilities, and a whole different game experience. Some slots therefore give the player a higher advantage over others, as we will see in a bit. Slot machines are very popular all over the world, and there are new online slots published basically every day. Poker Poker is one of the few casino games where the players play against each other, rather than against the house. The house acts just as a middleman, taking a cut and letting the best among the players win. For this reason, many people prefer poker to many other casino games that play against the house directly. There are lots of different versions of poker, but all of them work in a similar way. The players wager over which of their hands is the best, according to the ranking rules. Depending on which variation of poker you are playing, there are specific ranking rules, but in general, the types of hands in poker are ranked from weakest to strongest. For example, having two pairs is stronger than only one pair, three of a kind is stronger than two pairs, and so on. The person who has the strongest hand on the table wins, however, we don't reveal each other's hands until the very end. So the juicy part of the game is when there are a few rounds of bets before the players know each other's cards. Each player in turn must either match the previous player's bet, increase it or fold, losing the amount bet so far. The betting round ends when all players have either called the last bet or folded. This increases the exciting game dynamic, where usually you bet more if you think you have a better hand, but sometimes players bluff, betting a lot and making the other players scared to have a not so good hand and forcing them to fold. However, sometimes other players match big bets if they think that the player is bluffing, and sometimes they are right, sometimes they are wrong. So in a few words, poker is more of a game of psychology than cards and chances. Craps Now we are starting to look at lesser known casino games, which we will analyse briefly. Craps is a dice game in which players bet on the outcomes of a roll of a pair of dice. Players can wager money against each other, playing street craps or against the house, called casino craps. In a way, it's a bit similar to roulette, with dice instead of a wheel. Street craps has a long history being played literally in the streets of Victorian London or in New Orleans during the Civil War. At the time, it was very common for street players to play with unfair dice, or basically mug any passerby, although obviously today, if you play at a regulated casino, there is no such risk. Baccarat Baccarat is a comparing card game played between two hands, the player and the banker. The game objective is to predict which of those hands will subsequently acquire a total closest to nine and if any hand should score higher than 9, that score is adjusted by subtracting 10 from the original total. You as the player can bet on either the player hand or the banker hand, or you can make other more advanced bets. The house rules at any particular venue or online game will decide whether either the bank or player hands are entitled to draw a third card, and in any event, there will always be a maximum of 3 cards available for any hand, so in a way, if craps is similar to roulette, baccarat is more similar to blackjack, with the difference that you can choose whose side you want to bet on. Alright, so we have analysed the 6 most popular casino games, both online and in person. Now, do you have an equal winning chance in all of them? The short answer is no, because each game, and actually each bet within the game, has a different statistical chance to win or to lose, depending on the rules of the game. Some make you win more, some less. So, how do I know which game makes me win more? One simple way to see this is with the RTP, 
The RTP stands for Return to Player, and it refers to the percentage of prizes that will be returned to a player depending on funds deposited during the game initially. For example, let's say the RTP of a game is 95%. If you bet £100 or dollars every time, on average you will get back 95 because sometimes you will win and sometimes you will lose. That 5% is the house edge. This obviously doesn't mean that every time you will win 95%, it's still a game of chances. So on one hand, you could easily make 500 out of 100, but the RTP is a number calculated in the long run as an average. Now, usually slot machines online show clearly their RTP, which varies a lot from game to game, usually from 90% to 98%. So if you want to know which slot machine can make you win more, just look for the highest RTP you can find. But what about the other ones? The table games. Well, the RTP of table games is a bit less clear, and it varies from table to table, and depending on which bets and strategies you use. However, if playing without a strategy, roulette tends to have the highest RTP. In particular, playing red or black bets at the French roulette, the one without the double zero. If I place a bet on red at the French roulette, I basically have 18 chances out of 37 to win, which means I have 48.6% chance to double my money, which makes an RTP of around 98%. Now, there are many strategies that allow you to increase the chance to win at a single hand, rather than 48.6%. For example, betting on five double streets, which gives you an 81% chance to win at the first round, or betting on 11 streets, which gives you a 98% chance. All these betting strategies will be analysed on our channel, so if you're interested, subscribe to avoid missing them out. Now, if we talk about strategies, though Roulette loses the winning title as the game with the highest edge to the player, the new clear winner, in fact, becomes Blackjack. If you can play Blackjack following the basic strategy well, the house edge can go down up to 0.5%, giving you an RTP of 99.5%. Now. That's a cool number. But is there a way to actually have an edge over the house? Well, in theory, yes. And it can be done with counting cards on blackjack. In certain circumstances, a player that can count cards well can have a clear edge over the house, which means in the long run, he or she will win, guaranteed. Now, sounds too good to be true, right? Well, because it is. As I said, this edge happens in certain circumstances, and we don't include the player ability to count cards. These circumstances are all about the rules of the game. To have a clear edge over the house, the player must play in a blackjack that has one deck of cards, or as less as possible, no reshuffling in the middle, and so on. In general, the more the deck of cards, the higher the house edge. As you have probably guessed, most casinos have tried to make sure their blackjack tables keep a house edge, even in the case of a very skilled card counter. And those who don't will most likely kick you out of the premises as soon as they understand your counting cards. So unfortunately, it is nearly impossible today to have a guaranteed house edge at a casino, but you can be smart about your betting to give as little house edge as possible. So to summarise, if you want to find the highest paying casino games, playing blackjack with the basic strategy is probably the one that gives the smallest house edge, followed by playing French roulette, and then various slot or other games, depending on their RTP. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I remind you that the link in the description, you can find a list of certified casinos in your country and best bonuses that they offer, with free spins and free money. One important disclaimer before we finish, gambling is illegal if you're under 18 and can cause addiction. If you do want to play, please gamble responsibly and only bet what you can afford to lose. No casino strategy or game has a 100% success rate so you can always lose all of your money. Please see gambling as a pastime and not a way to make money. And when the fun stops, please stop. Online casinos usually have tools to help you stay in control, such as deposit limits. To find out more about best practices for safe gambling, you can read our guide on our website. If you think you're not in control of your gambling, please seek help immediately. You can do so at www.begambleaware.org. I look forward to seeing you in the next videos. See you soon, ninjas.